Hello everyone, today we are going to walk through the new quote setup functionality within paperless parts. Most of the organizations we work with primarily receive RFQs via email, and it will resemble something like this, where you have a variety of different part numbers you have been asked to quote, as well as associated quantity breaks for each. Then you may have a variety of different file formats that came with it as attachments. Perhaps you have the prints and solid models, perhaps you have just the prints. So what you would do as a paperless parts user is simply forward this to your paperless parts account. Most of the organizations we work with prior to paperless parts would at this point have to do two things in parallel. One would be they save all of these attachments locally, and then they're going to go to their share drive. They're going to go to uh, their local network where they're going to navigate to a customer folder and begin to create part number folders for each of these, each of the part numbers they were asked to quote, which can be really cumbersome, particularly with large RF, RFQ packages. In parallel to that, they're also logging the RFQ where they may access a CRM system. Maybe they go to their quoting module within their ERP system, or they have a separate Excel sheet entirely where they're going to log the part number, who's responsible for it, et cetera. As I navigate to my paperless parts account, you are going to see that we bypassed both of those steps. So as you can see, when I load the page, you can see this has already been logged in the built-in quote tracking system where I can see the quote number, I can see the contact that it extracted from the email, and it automatically logged the account that I have it affiliated with, and it also tagged the salesperson internally that I have covering that account so that the salesperson is now notified as is the estimator. Now, the next phase is just to begin understanding what we're quoting. So let's go ahead and you can see this RFQ is already timestamped and that is pulling from the body of the email. You can also see the contact we're quoting. Now, the next step is to go about just drafting my line items where I'm going to go without paperless and I'm going to begin to copy over and paste all of the individual part numbers and making sure I get the quantity breaks correct in my ERP system or within Excel. This purple signal is letting you know that we can help accelerate that process. So if you were to click on bulk create line items, we automatically extracted from the body of the email all of the part numbers with the affiliated quantity breaks. Let's go ahead and create those line items. Now we need to take inventory of all of the attachments, which again were extracted from that email. I see I have some zip files, so let's go ahead and unzip those. A key component to understand here is that Paperless Parts is doing a file check on all of your files, including the zip files, to make sure you do not accidentally open a corrupt or uh, corrupt file or malware. So let's go ahead. I've now unzipped all the files I need to. Now we need to go about reconciling all of these part files with the line items we were asked to quote. In order to accelerate that, you will see paperless prompt you to add these files to the associated line items where you can see add files to matching line items. So let's go ahead and add. Now we need to make sure that we have everything we need to quote these parts. It can be relatively time consuming to take inventory of everything you have. If you get an RFQ package, someone normally is going through and making sure that you have all the prints for all the files, and it can be easy to lose track of, particularly with large RFQ packages. You can see on the left, all of the part numbers, the thumbnails automatically filled in, and I can quickly notice when there's a line item that doesn't have any file names associated with it. So PP63800 did not have any files. So I am able to quickly notice that I need to go back to the customer and request a print so I can go about quoting this part. 
Similarly, I can see I was provided files and no part number. So I can go back to my customer and say, hey, do you want me to quote these parts as well? Or did you send these over as a mistake? The next phase is to triage all of the line items. Paperless parts is designed to be really visual to help you make decisions about whether you're going to quote it or whether you're going to no quote as well as know quickly who you need to delegate a quote to should it require some type of expertise. So you would simply scroll through having this image of the thumbnail in order to make some of those baseline decisions. If you need deeper insights, such as I want to know the material type and I want to see any specs that were called out, I can quickly open up this part and you will see in the found in files, any specifications or material type that were called out on that print as well. Now that we have the baseline information, the last step is to go about populating the part information, again, which can be quite time consuming, particularly when with working in large RFQ packages. So at this point, you're going to see the purple signal letting you know that our system can accelerate that from reading directly off the print. That part number is already there, and then that revision is just very easy to plug in based on the suggestion. You can obviously open up the print CAD viewing system to make sure we are picking it up correctly as well. Here you see A and again, revision A. In summary, the paperless parts quote setup functionality is designed to eliminate as much of the tedious time consuming elements of the quoting process as possible. I hope this was helpful and please reach out to the paperless part sales team should you have any questions or are interested in learning more. Thank you.